My only sunshine, you make me happy when skies are gray. I never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. So there is no sunshine. Right now, besides you two. You two are my sunshines. <laughs> You're our sunshine. But the real sunshine is sadly being missed right now.
Everything's frozen. If I have John drink a Jingleheimer Schmidt, today, I might kick you in the shin later. I need a cocoa crunchy. Lucky Bass. 500. 5,000. <laughs> Here we are. What is that, like 16,000 meters or feet? Yeah, I think so. We made it. Look at that glacier. Wow. Glacier. My battery even made it a bit more than I think I was anticipating. <laughs> It's a bit more strenuous, longer days at lower altitudes, which I thought would be breezy, but we just went a whole lot further, climbed up and down a whole lot more on rugged terrain. So our knees and our uh, feet were definitely feeling it in the first week. And about um, four days ago, I told myself we had 10 days left, and I wasn't sure how I felt about that. <laughs> but thank God, we only had about four or five. Now reach the apex, literally, of our journey, and then we just have a very long, long, steep descent to look forward to. But after this morning, feeling very revitalized, renewed, and it reminded me of why we do this. Because it was worth it. Very, very worth it. But I haven't started recording now. I'm recording. Track was 
It was hard at first. The first couple days were like long days. And I was really tired. And hot. And I wasn't used to being hot. Because on the Everest track, we were not hot. And it, it felt grueling. Because I was like day three, 17. <laughs> but now that we're on top of the pass, we had a pretty, pretty epic morning with the sunrise, the stars, the moon, just, just Mother Nature. It's really killing it. Let's say, um, feel, feeling renewed, feeling, feeling ready to walk down about a million feet. Close to a million. I think it's close to a million. <laughs> I feel like a million. Yeah. Yay. Yay.